talked in some of my videos about this conjured. Especially with these veggies on, when it was laid across here, that was catching on this gantry. But you see, I've added this just a bit of plastic, basically. It straddles this plate on here, the carriage. And there's four balls to tighten up against this plate. In this case, you could put four extra balls in the back and just a tie wrap up here. And that pulls this tube up. And that works very, very well. There is a, just about one more, well, one position at the moment that does catch very slightly on this conjunct. And what happens is it makes the noise almost like this when it does catch and it scrapes against the carriage, so to speak. So this is just a pretty brief video. And you can see that. So as I said, that was the carriage plate there. That's been okay. While I'm talking about such things, I'll talk about. So I've got this. I've got a thermostat linked into my PSU because I'm doing a test on the fan I've got. Seeing how good it is. So I've seen 47 there. That's probably borderline. Maybe I wouldn't want it to. So what I'm intend to do actually, I'll put the video down here and would we'll say that I'm going to update that video. I'm going to put um, some drills quite a few holes in the bottom plate now there are vents in the bottom plate already but there's not really anywhere this 80 millimeter fan which i fitted to the psu is well not really and i think that's restricting the airflow to the fan so there is a gap under here or maybe 10 millimeter gap maybe more actually when it's bolted in no, I don't want to stop printing. So I'm keeping a bit of an eye on this temperature. It's been about 47, 48 throughout. I think it stabilises at about 48. That's about maybe the temperature the fan comes on. I'm not sure of the exact temperature the fan. So the fan switches on and off on the PSU under control. Well, it's got two thermostats, thermocouples or something. In different positions and when it triggers the temperature it switches the fan on it's either on or off there's no PWM now the original fan is like a server fan that is very loud when it's on but this one is quiet much much quieter only as I say you have to have a 10 millimeter fan on the PSU because any deeper and it will bang against the bottom case edge. We'll talk about that in this video. So basically the update is I'm going to drill quite a few holes, maybe six millimeter diameter holes. I'm not going to drill a big hole which I was thinking about I don't think because this is thicker metal. I mean the PSU case is not too bad to cut with sort of tin snips, types of tin snips that I have. Drill a hole and then cut with tin snips. You could call it cut a circle for the 80 millimeter fan, but this stuff is more heavy gauge. It's about one millimeter thick, maybe what even 1.5. So that's just a bit of an update. That seems to work okay. Doesn't add much more weight to the carriage. Oh, by the way, I did find this, this carriage was loose, so there are, there are tightening nuts. Well, I think there's one on here that you can adjust, and that it's like an eccentric nut that will tighten up the car well, any of the carriages. Or you might see here, see how it's got like a hex shape on the nut there, so you can 
just that with a spanner loosen it or tighten it you don't want it over tight make sure that does like freely move so this works very well I might even see about uh, making this a little bit longer actually because I might want to make it a bit longer to raise it up see if I move that up even a little bit there it raises this part up quite a bit so that might be worthwhile doing and then it probably wouldn't catch at all it only catches in one minor position and then it's only very lightly probably won't affect the print but it doesn't make like a little bit of that noise when it's catching slightly so this is a tripod mount for my camera actually it's to put a, like a, a ring light on and I've got two other lights actually I can show you that so this is what I've got it's like a ring light which is just hot glued on it's got two 12 volt LEDs on either side and why this is bright let me turn it on And this can basically go over, it has these plates to stop it moving side to side to a certain extent when it's on the camera. But this goes over the lens like so. With this tripod fitting. I've done some experiments with this and, uh, well this is like an innovation this. And test, I'm only doing this in 30% infill and 0.3 layer height to speed it up. And uh, show you the back of that. It's just uh, this ring light does come with a book or boost converter. 12 volts, you just put 12 volts in, so it's all 12 volt system. It's on off switch there. Let me I'll put this on the camera and then I'll turn it off. So this gives you an idea and turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off, yep that works reasonably well, so I'm just working on this plate because I'm just getting it, trying to get it adjusted so that the tripod bolt thing that goes in is just about right, going to glue that on, there are two screw holes but I can't once you put the ring light on, you can't really get in at the screw holes. Put a slot in there for screws. Right, enough of that. Mainly about this conjunct tube for the hot end wires and the fan wires and the BL touch wires are all going here. So yeah, I'll probably, I'll have to check that I can reach over this front end if I, because that in a way of doing that's going to shorten the tube. But if I can, I'll make it a little bit longer, not much, just 10, maybe 15 millimeters longer.